Pericarditis. What is it? Peri means outside, cardia means heart, and itis refers to inflammation. Together, they refer to inflammation of the connective tissue that surrounds the outside of the heart. What causes it? Anything that can cause inflammation can cause pericarditis. Common causes would be viruses, bacteria, autoimmune disorders, and metabolic issues like uremia. Rare causes would be tumors, fungus, and drugs. But the bottom line is this. If it can cause inflammation, it can cause pericarditis. How do we identify pericarditis? Chest pain. Why? Because there's inflammation in the chest. Inflammation hurts. Also, pain provoked with the patient's breathing or coughing, termed pleuritic pain. Why? Because your lungs are shifting around an inflamed heart. Another identifier of pericarditis is that the chest pain is going to be of the nature that it improves in certain positions, sitting up straight or leaning forward. This moves the chest anatomy around in ways that put the heart in a more comfortable position. Next, a pericardial friction rub can be heard in some of these patients. Here's a normal one, and here's one with some friction. The most characteristic finding of pericarditis, though, is widespread ST segment elevation in all of your leads. Except altered view right, because that's the upside down one. Although this finding is only present in just over half of acute pericarditis cases, so don't feel safe just because the ECG looks good. Have an echo handy? An effusion may be present. Let's say we took an echo of the heart here. A normal heart would look like this. Left ventricle and atrium are these spaces, and here's the pericardium. An effusion would look like this, with the effusion here. More than half of patients with pericarditis will have one of these. It's the fluid byproduct of the inflammatory process all built up. Although just like the ECG, don't toss this differential out the window just because there isn't an effusion. Put this pathology at the top of your list of differentials if you have at least two of these findings. How do we treat this disease? If a specific cause can be identified, the patient will be treated for that cause. For example, antibiotics for bacteria. But for pericarditis caused by viral and other unknown causes, the patient will likely get non-steroidal anti-inflammatories, also accompanied with colchicine. Yes, the gout medication. Colchicine has anti-inflammatory properties, with research to back up its place in the management of pericarditis. So next time you're deducing a patient's past medical history from the medications, don't assume colchicine always means gout. And in severe cases, where the amount of inflammation and effusion gets to dangerous levels, to the point where it stops the heart from being able to do its job, pericardial synthesis, where a needle is inserted into the chest and the fluid drained out. Peri, outside, cardia heart, and synthesis to puncture. Thanks very much for watching.